Hello everyone! Hi! Hi! Hi. I'm Tina from Calm Chakra Yoga and these are my two little Easter bunnies, Shania and Maya. Yay! So, they're very excited as you can see. Right, so today I'm going to start by talking a little bit about what yoga is. So what is yoga? So most of us know yoga as moving our body into shapes and animals. And that is right, that is what yoga is. But yoga also is about being happy and thinking happy thoughts. And we do that through breathing exercises, through meditation, which we'll be doing at the end of today's class. But also it's about being kind and compassionate and loving. So we be kind to other people around us, we be kind to animals and kind to our planet. Okay, so we should be practicing yoga in some way every single day. Okay, so should we get started on our class? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so today we're going to be joining Eddie Egg Bunny and Charlie Spring Chick on an Easter egg hunt. So who wants to join in? Me! Great, and I hope you guys are at home already. So we're going to come down curled into a little ball. Easter Egg Bunny is fast asleep. Fast asleep, he's snoring away. And then his alarm bell goes off. And he reaches his, so reach your arms up at the back. His ears go up into the air as he starts to wake up. So stretch out your arms really, really high up. Stretch, stretch, stretch all the way. And slowly come into seated position. Now he wakes up. And he doesn't actually know what day it is. He's totally forgotten that it's Easter day. So he brings up to his arms and he stretches and interlaces his fingers, stretches high up into the air. He then comes down onto one side. So bring one arm down and stretch over the other side. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And then he stretches to the other side. Still not remembering what day it is today. He then comes up, you get one hand, put it on your opposite knee, put the other hand back and look behind you and stretch out your neck. You then come round to the other side and stretch to the other side. Now, Eddie Egg Bunny is still very, very confused. So he rolls his neck to one side, trying to remember what it is that he had to do today. And then he rolls his head to the other side, all the way around. And he thinks, I still can't remember. I know, I'm gonna go and brush my teeth. So everybody get your toothbrush. Brush your teeth, open your mouth wide. And kiss. And brush your teeth. And kiss. Then thinks, I know. I need some brain food. I'm going to have a lovely, healthy breakfast. Porridge. Porridge. I'm going to have some porridge for breakfast. So with one hand, you're going to tap your head and rub your belly. Can you do that? Can everyone at home do that? And the other side. Tap the other side and rub your belly. Very good. He then goes into the kitchen to his table. So everyone get into tabletop position. Great. And he looks out the window and he sees his cat and cow neighbours. So he says, hello. hello. He then comes down, arch your back into a cow pose. And the cow says, moo. You then round your back into a cat pose and say, meow. And again, moo. is ready so you're going to bring your arms down to the front of your mat into puppy pose bring your head all the way down and eat your porridge mm. yum, 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 yum. move your head make sure you're enjoying it lovely and then once he's eaten he wiggles his bunny tails wiggle your bunny tails in the air very good wiggle your bunny tails and come back up 
So after he's had his breakfast, he remembers. Oh my goodness, it's Easter. Easter. How could I forget Easter? So first of all, he gets his Easter basket. So you come up onto the knees and you stretch up your arms and try and reach your Easter basket. Oh, no luck this time. So he comes back down and he tries again. So come all the way back up, try and get your Easter basket. Oh, still can't reach it. Never mind, come back down. I'm gonna try again because I never give up. And come back up, reach your basket. Yay, I've got the Easter basket. Bring your basket all the way down. I'm going to ring my friends and see if they want to join me. So, you bring your legs out right in front of you. You pick up one foot and you rock your legs. Ring, 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 ring. Hello, hello Charlie Spring Chick. This is Eddie Egg Bunny. Would you like to join me on the Easter egg hunt? Yeah. Great, I'm glad you'd like to join me. I'm now going to hang up my phone and I'm going to ring my human friends. Ready? Ring, 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 ring. Hello, human friends. This is Eddie Egg Bunny. Would you like to join us on the Easter egg hunt? Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. Grown ups are welcome too if grown ups want to join us. Lovely. Put your foot all the way down. So now, Eddie Egg Bunny is going to come into Downward Dog and stretch out his legs because he knows it's going to be a very, very busy day on the Easter egg hunt. So stretch out your legs. And then when you're ready, step your feet in between your hands and come into Uttanasana, into your forward fold and reach up slowly. You're going to get one shoe, pick up your shoe and you're going to come all the way down and put your foot, shoe on your foot and then tap your foot to make sure it's on and then come all the way back up again get your other shoe and come all the way down and put it on the other foot and tap your foot you're then going to put your hands back down into downward dog come back into downward dog well done and you're going to lift up one leg into three-legged dog and shake your foot and make sure your shoe's on properly shake 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 and bring your leg down and bring your other leg back up. Shake, shake, shake. Lovely. Should we do that one more time? Bring your leg up. Shake, shake. Make your shoes up properly. We don't want to lose them on the Easter egg hunt. And great. And the other foot up. Lovely. I'm going to stay down the dog and then give our funny tail another little wriggle. Wiggle, wiggle. Lovely, so you can come back down onto your knees. And now we're going to stretch out one leg to one side, put your other hand down on the floor, and we're going to open the door. Open your door nice and wide. And then we're going to come on to the other side. Other leg out, other arm down, and stretch all the way up to open your door nice and wide. Lovely. We're going to come back up and we're going to open the door and we're going to smell and feel the lovely spring breeze. So we're going to inhale up, take in the breeze and exhale down to your heart. What a lovely sunny day it is. And arms up again. Inhale and exhale down to your heart. Should we do that one more time again? Breathe in. And down to your heart. Now, he can see lots and lots and lots of buzzy bees. Rotate your head. Lots of bees flying around. And the other side. So now we're going to do a bee breath. So come back down onto your knees. And I'm going to show you how to do the bee breath first. You're going to get your two fingers and your thumb. You're going to close your eyes. And then you're going to put your thumb in your ears, and then you're going to just say, mm. Ready? Mm. Wow, lovely buzzy bees there. Let's do that again. Close your eyes. Mm. 
Put your thumb over your ears and... Oh, wow. So many loud buzzy bees. I hope you enjoyed that at home. And then he sees lots and lots of butterflies. So if you come in seated position, put your feet together and flap your butterfly wings. So get your legs and flap them up and down. Like you're a flappy, flappy, colourful butterfly. Flap, 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 flap. Lovely. And then you see lots of daffodils. And you want to smell those flowers. So you're going to come up. And as you come down, all the way bring your head down to your toes and smell your flowers. Oh, lovely. Come back up. I want to smell those again. Ready? Go up and in and down. Smell your flowers. Oh, lovely. And come back up. And we're going to do that one more time because they smell really good. Oh, lovely. Smell your flowers. And come back up. Just then, he sees all his friends. He's so excited. So he gets up. He brings his arms down. Bend your knees. And he does a bunny hop. Ready? Hop. And hop. And do one more big hop. Ready? Hop. Oh, lovely. Come into standing position. And wave to all your friends. Say hello. Hello. Thank you for joining us. Hello. On the Easter egg hunt. And then Charlie Spring Chick says hello back. So let's get a chicken pose. Put your hands behind your back. I'm going to roll up the shoulders like this and say... Ready? Right, so now we need to decide how we're going to go on our Easter egg hunt. Hmm, how should we go? I know, let's ride our bikes. So come down onto your backs. Get up your legs and do your bicycle legs. And then ride as fast as we can. Ride, ride, ride. Great! Oh, your legs must be really tired. Good job. Hello. Hello. Oh, great! So, we're going to come back up. And at the top of the hill, there's a lovely, beautiful green tree. So, we're going to come into our tree pose. So, to come into your tree pose, you can keep one foot down. If you have good balance, you can bring one leg up. I think I'll keep my foot down for this one. So, keep your foot down. You bring your arms all the way up to the top of the tree. And if you like, you can also open your branches. Now, if your arms get tired, you can always bring your arms back down into Anjali Mudra. But today, I think I'm gonna keep my branches open. Okay. So, you okay? Right, so you're gonna keep your branches open. You notice how strong the tree is. And us human beings are just like trees. We're nice and strong and no strong winds can blow us over. So we're gonna practice a strong breath. Now I'm gonna see how strong the trees are. So breathe in and do a strong ocean breath out. And again, breathe in and blow out. <laughs> Great, really strong trees out there. Let's do the other side. Okay, so come into the other side. If your arms are tired, you can always bring them back down. Okay, that's a strong tree right there. Breathe in. And strong breath out. <laughs> and breathe in. And lovely. We have some very, very strong trees. Now, at the top of the tree, there's a bird. And we're gonna say hello to the bird. Say hello, bird. Hi. 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 Then the bird says, so you're gonna get your elbows together and say and the other side stretch out the other side and oh hello little bird guess what you see on the trees you see some easter eggs yay so we're going to reach our arms up get our eggs and bring them down to the basket up up easter eggs up and down into the basket. Very good. One more time. Get more Easter eggs. And down 
into your basket. Very good. Now, we need to get back down the hill to look for more eggs. So, we're going to get on the floor. Get the floor. And we're going to roll down the hill. Lovely. Roll, 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 roll. Roll all the way down. Hope you're all rolling at home. Don't bump into each other. Roll, 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 roll. Lovely. Roll, roll, roll. And come onto your back. We'll just have a little rest. Let's hug ourselves. Let's give ourselves a big, big hug. Can we do this? Lovely. Rock. What is this? You can rock if you like. Yes, you can. And just hug your knees. You get to the bottom of the hill, and what do you find? You find a boat. Great, so to come into boat posture, you keep your hands down, you bring up one leg, you bring up the other leg, and if you're comfortable to do so, you can also bring your hands up into a boat posture. And if you can't balance there, you can always keep your arms down. And with that, we're gonna sing row, row, row your boat. And we're gonna see if we see any crocodiles. Okay, ready? Row, row, row your boat. Gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. <coughs> okay, let's do our crocodile arms. Lovely. And the other side. Crocodile arms. Now we're going to go down the shore and see if we see any lions. Ready? We're going to row our boats, legs out straight. And row, row, row your boat. Gently down the shore. If you see a lion, don't forget to roar. <laughs> and with that, we're going to get into our lion breath. So, you're going to inhale in. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, these lions are falling over. Ready? Again. chicken or bunny are going to get through the rabbit hole pretty easily because they're quite small but us humans have to curl into a small ball and try and get through the hole so curl back down into your child's pose as small as you can this is child's pose <laughs> okay child's pose. then we're going to go down flat onto our bellies and we're going to go into a cobra pose and as we go into the cobra pose, we're going to come up and we're going to roll our shoulders back and try and get through this small little rabbit hole. Great. And while we're in the rabbit hole, we see more Easter eggs. Lovely. So come back up and we're going to get more of the Easter eggs and bring them into our basket. More Easter eggs. And into our basket. Lovely. So now we get to the other side of the rabbit hole. And guess what we see? We see a beautiful bridge. So we're going to get into our bridge pose. We line our back. Now to get into your bridge pose, you line your back to so keep it onto your side and you slowly lift up your bottom. And we're in our bridge. Take a look at all those lovely bridges and come all the way back down and come back up again into your bridge and this time when we go onto the bridge we see the beautiful sunshine so can you bring your arms up round like this like it's a beautiful sunshine you can see and we're trying to touch it and come back down now as we go up again come all the way back up and we notice that it starts to rain so if you bring your hands up into your ring fingers and the rain comes down. And bring your arms up again into your ring fingers. And come back down. And up again. Ring fingers. And come back down. Wow. We're going to come into a seated position now. Not only did we notice that it's raining, but there's also... Easter egg raindrops, tiny little Easter egg raindrops coming down. How cool is that? 
So we're going to try and catch our raindrops. So we're going to catch our raindrops and put them into our basket. Catch your Easter egg raindrops and down into your basket. One more time. Catch your Easter egg raindrops and come all the way down. Now you're going to stay down and now we're going to share our Easter eggs with all of our friends and our grown-ups who have joined us. So we're going to walk around to one side and share. Slowly walk around to the other side and share. Beautiful. Again to the other side. We're going to share. Make sure we're always sharing because sharing is kind. And caring. And caring. And to the other side. Great. Come back to centre. You're going to walk yourself back up. And now we're going to do a little mini meditation. So if you would like to come into your easy pose, sit however you're comfortable. And I'd like you now to close your eyes. Close your eyes. Breathe in and breathe out. And again, gently breathe in and gently breathe out. Now I want you to think back to when we got under our bridge. And when we were there, there was a beautiful meadow, a meadow with beautiful green grass. And I want you to imagine that. Now over the meadow, there was a beautiful, huge, colorful rainbow. And I want you to close your eyes and I want you to think about the rainbow. Now from that rainbow, I want you to pick one favorite color. So whichever color you like, think about that color. And as you breathe in, I want you to imagine that color is going all the way inside you, all down your face, all down your arms, into your hands, all the way down your body, into your legs and into your feet. So breathe in your color again. Breathe in and breathe out. Now, we know we're facing some uncertain times right now where there's no schools open, you're not seeing your friends. And at times you may be sad or you may be angry or frustrated and that's okay. It's okay to feel like that. But I want to teach you something that will help you think happy thoughts all the time. So, whenever you're breathing in, always think of your favourite colour from the rainbow. And when you breathe out, I want you to gently blow away any unhappy thoughts. So you breathe in and gently breathe out. And as you breathe out, just imagine you're blowing away any unhappy thoughts, or anything that makes you feel sad. So breathe in and gently blow away. So, this is a way to meditate and just think happy thoughts all the time. But I also have one more task for you, and this is something you can practice every day. And grown-ups, you can also do this too, because I do this every single day, and it really helps me. So, I would like you to think of anything that makes you happy. So whatever you wake up, make you feel happy, make you feel thankful, that's called gratitude. And what I do and what these two do and what my husband does is we make a gratitude list every day. And anything that makes us happy, we write that down on this list. And whenever we have a sad moment, we breathe in our favorite color, we blow away any unhappy thoughts, and we look at our list to remind us how lucky we are and the things that we should be grateful for every single day. So grown-ups, please feel free to share your comments on the post about what your, your children's gratitude list is and what makes them happy. I really, really hope you've enjoyed today's class. So girls, come into Anjali Mudra into your prayer position. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, Wireless, for having me today. And I really hope you've enjoyed this practice. Have a lovely day. Namaste. Lama, sit